And I will, as chair of the subcommittee, um, by default, um, I will call. I will call the committee meeting to order by uh, making sure that the three members um, can hear hear and be heard. Jonathan. Good morning. And Rupert. Rupert, thanks for getting Sorry, to us. I'm late. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, That's all right. Sean, Sean had a prior um, out of a, a prior meeting and couldn't be here. So uh, thank you, everyone. Um, if I, um, I can't, let me just see whether. I'm just, just checking if anyone, um, if I see any other committee members joining as a participant, I think they were on Vitus panel. I'll bring them in if I see them otherwise. But I am turning it over to the Denisco team. Um, and there is, a, there is a feedback from somewhere. That would probably be our excited office. So Tim, can you maybe put a, put a little sign up saying, in meeting or something. <laughs> Sorry, because you're doing the talking. I think I think it's Tim's fancy uh, earbuds that also attract the noise. Yeah, Donna, we carved out little uh, little rooms out of our interior designers library to, make, to kind do of this. Of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that. Um, we have multiple screens, and so we for this for this purpose. A lot of times, I yeah. do take them in in our conference rooms. Yeah. All right, Tim. Sorry about that. Uh, That's we, okay. We, we get excited here. Um, I'm going to share my screen, uh, and we're basically hoping to pick up the conversation where we left off last week. Uh, Kathy, can you enable me oh, to sure, share my screen? Sure. Yeah, let me do the enable. I believe I did. Thank you. Um, we were working around the building, look at different elements, uh, how we were going to define the volumes of the music room, uh, the administration suite, the entrance, uh, the gymnasium, uh, where we could potentially locate uh, art and work it into the facade. Um, and we just want to pick up that conversation now uh, as we get into this. Um, this is one of the in addition to the gym, which we didn't illustrate, we pointed out that there could be a mural on the music room. Um, it would be highly visible as you approach from the parking lot and um, visible from everyone using the building on the north side of the site. Um, another option uh, that we're looking at for um, where we could place art in addition to how we're going to articulate the music room is as shown here on the library. Um, there was a, a brief discussion about, you know, where the most people could see it, whether or not it would create confusion with the front door if it was at the music room and too close. Uh, so there's other views that show the art up on the library, uh, but we just want to point out here because it sort of pops in this image. And this is just a study of how to articulate the music room in the same language as some of the other features in the building using uh, that folded plane that defines the roof and turns down at the end of the programmatic volume. The glass is still facing north with a little bit to the west, which will allow a lot of glare free light into the music room. Um, and then this is illustrated with two basic materials. It's a single skin metal panel and a masonry, which we've been using as the field. Uh, but that's not to say what is rendered as the light color, the default color, uh, Jonathan's word stuck in my head, um, uh, couldn't be uh, the lighter masonry or a different lighter masonry. So here is what that uh, version of the music room looks like in the context of the larger building. And another uh, angle view up close that allows you to see in how much glass there is, how much uh, someone occupying the room would be able to see out. And then the folded plane that uh, represents the canopy, the roof edge, the end of the volume sort of 
separates it a little bit from the um, cafeteria entrance. And here's just a straight on view so you can understand the composition from every direction. Tim, how do how do you oh. want us to react? It, like, do you want us to compare the the? Yep, I the, I think these conversations work great when you just jump in and, and say you love it and or you hate it at any time. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I hopefully this is a design discussion. I hear yeah. Jonathan laughing a little bit because he knows how that can go. Uh, so uh, anything that you have a question about, see and love or hate, please just. Uh, jump in and, and let us know and then we can get into that point further or, or just take the feedback. Okay, I'll wait to see hands, but could you go back to the first one that didn't have the metal panel? I just wanna see it. Um, uh, that version? That one, yeah. Yeah, so that is just the location for the art it has some glass, the metal edge roof coming down around and then masonry. And, and the and the the white that is under the overhang is that brick uh this was based on the sd set or a version of it and it was single skin but it could also be brick um okay uh, so yeah. when i say single what, what skin i'm single referring skin? to yes. i yeah, am referring you. to the lowest end of the panelized metal system so it's um uh it's more expensive uh, than masonry, uh, but it is at the very low end of the metal panel systems, uh, similar to the break metal roof edge that we would be using. But um, you know, as as we've said a couple times before, and, and we continue to believe this, the backup wall behind all of these systems is the same, um, and so we're looking to develop a composition. You know, dark and light, solid void. Um, and then unless you're doing some geometry uh, where you have overhangs or stuff like that, pretty much anything can be masonry. Uh, it gets a little bit more difficult where you're over large expanses of glass because you have to support the brick. So you have to have a, a relieving angle that's tied to structure so that you know, in detailing and cost, there is a, a, a minor item there. But for the most part, as we think and look at elevation studies that we like or don't like, uh, you, we should, you can operate under the assumption that the materials like dark can be uh, masonry or, or some other material. Okay, so then I, I have a basic Go. question Go. then, mm -hmm. and, and then I'll, I would like Jonathan and Rupert, I, I have an opinion, but I wanna hear others. Um, sure. Is over time, do, does the single skin metal, I can use all the words, um, <laughs> wear well in terms of if it were white, would it, um, there's some surfaces at UMass that have these brown drips on them. <laughs> you know, I don't know uh, how, you know, it's it's weather. And I think they were supposed to do that. I mean, it was uh, our architectural feature. So versus brick and then, the white versus the dark. I'm liking the white better than the dark on this north side. So, uh, mm -hmm. so it's a question of um, coloring over time. Um, so, a couple of questions in there. The the single skin uh, metal panel is durable. It is light fast. It is essentially the same finish as you would have on the mullions for a curtain wall or window system. Um, if you're talking about where buildings are detailed such that water drips on the facade, um, yes, it will discolor, but as will masonry or anything else. Uh, the only durability issue about a single skin panel is we wouldn't want to use it at the ground level, probably very close to a main entrance or a door. Uh, a person running into it would not damage it, but a snowblower, a uh, cart or something like that certainly could dent it and not an issue that you would have with masonry. And, and Tim, not to jump in a little bit here, but mm -hmm. in, in all truth, it's not going to be a straight up white either in the end, because most of these things yes. don't come in what we'd all think of as kind of a pure white there. <laughs> they started at a light mid-tone kind of gray, most of them. Yep. Um, and, and, and Jonathan is absolutely correct. It is very hard to sort of 
render the the neutral architectural materials metals aluminum stuff like that uh, grays uh so sometimes in the images they look as white um you should nothing is going to be refrigerator white uh, exactly. not that refrigerators are white anymore <laughs> but uh, nothing is going to be white like that okay rupert has his hand up rupert You've got to unmute. Okay, okay there we go. Um, yeah, I'm, I've been thinking about this uh, question about whether art would draw people to someplace that wasn't an entrance and how big of an issue that is. And I have sort of a conceptual question for people who do this for, uh, for their living, which is, um, can we use the, the folded plane as a signal for entrances all around the building? And would you think that might suffice? to direct folks uh, towards entrances? Um, I, I think we are moving that way in terms of language. We are also using the folded plane to define volumes um, as rendered currently. Uh, the folded plane at the main entrance is orange. The folded plane at the south bus drop-off entrance is a similar hue, and then we are working it in at the north um, so a combination of repeating that element and the geometry and using the material or color to signify different things, I, I, I think is what we're working toward and hoping to get a language that is um, clear in terms of, you know, it, a building should not be confusing in terms of where you go in, what the door is, what the function is. So hopefully we'll get to that point. Jonathan. Jonathan. Um, yeah, I, you know. I, while I, it's something I, I want to make sure that is clear, I, I'm feeling like, you know, you're, you're working in that direction. Um, and that, that our main entrance, you know, with the pop of color, with the column, you know, I think, I think there's a distinctiveness there. I also think the site plan is going to focus us in that way. You know, I realize the, you know, the site plan is done and the views we're looking at may not even necessarily capture the current state of that. Um, but there are ways that, you know, that the, the paving and the, you know, the patterning can also kind of reinforce and focus, um, you know, a, a new, a new arrival, someone who's never been to the site, um, their attention on the right, the right place. Can you move a couple more images forward? There we go. So, you know, I'm actually really, I really like this, uh, version, you know, I, it, my only reservation with it is that the art seems a little removed. You know, part of me wants to also then have some other place where, where it might be more accessible. You know, another piece of art might be more accessible, um, especially for little kids to kind of go, get up close to it a little bit. Um, but I do like the way that the um, the roof forms and and the overhangs and and kind of everything seems to be kind of getting kind of tied together in in this approach. And my only question on it um, is what you just said, Jonathan, that unless you're standing away from the building, uh, well, short people wouldn't be able to see it, but little kids, definitely not. Right. And to the extent you get tired of whatever that is, um, and, you know, is it tile? If it's tile, it's durable. But the one that's on Fort River now looks to me like if they decided to change the current school, if they decided yeah. to change it, it would be easy. Um, you know, so thinking in terms of um, this is where you start, but yeah. so so what the one other uh, point about the art is um, if we said art could go here, art could go there, and then we did a few more, we don't have to pre-decide uh, except for uh, Danisco and company telling us, if you want art to go there, we'd need a different surface behind it. You know, we can't put the, the uh, single skin metal behind it, it has to be brick. So it has, if it has implications. So I, I like, the idea of designating potential areas and then getting a broader input on what what it might be and where um, rather than designing a specific place to accommodate art 
where if we decide not to put it there, you wouldn't, be, you know, so with this grace single skin, if you wouldn't put art on that, um, then you've removed that as a possibility. If you can just as easily put art on that as you put it on brick. So it, it, is, am I being clear by what you, I'm- you, you are being clear. And I, I think um, wherever the art is decided is the best place, we would probably design the wall, the substrate to receive it. I mean, we would, we would not, it's not to say that you can't put sing art on single skin but we we would not do that we would we would give it a a dedicated so, surface yeah. for whatever that whatever the art is tile will want something different than sculpture will want something different than I, I, we don't know what the art is so that the substrate would be designed to appropriately receive it um so to was, say it differently tim maybe mm -hmm. maybe we um have to ask Amherst to make certain decisions at certain times yeah. as we're doing the construction documents, right? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Kathy, we don't need an answer today, but we would say um, we'll need to know by January of next year or something. I, I, I'm yeah. just making up a date, but yeah. that's, that's what I'm looking for, Donna, because I'm also seeing there's, um, if you didn't put it way up high on the cafeteria, Tim, you could point your, I can't point an arrow, I don't think. But on the other side of the cafeteria, there's a brick wall that must, I don't know what that is. I'm way over. Uh, that's the, re that's, uh, is that, this, is that the, the kitchen? Here? That's the kitchen. This is the yeah. kitchen. You know, so. Uh, if, if you wanted to not draw people into the wrong entrance, but you wanted to have when the kids and other people are out playing something lively to look at. <laughs> yeah, and that's by the door over there, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm just seeing that there's the same way you picked out the one that's next to the move. move I'm looking at flat surfaces that don't have windows on them. Basically, it's a, mm -hmm. a simplistic way of, of thinking. So, um, so I think both Jonathan and Rupert had their hands up. So just you could just shout out the way I did because it's just the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Rupert. I think you were first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I I can't explain why it is, but on the north side of the music room, that one section of dark brick just sort of feels out of place to me. And I don't know whether it's because it's just a little smaller uh, or or what. Um, do you understand what I'm saying? I do understand what you're saying. I think there's an uncomfortable um, part of this composition, which in the previous version uh, was um, sort of tied together by the art, but uh, I understand the, the concept of what you're saying. Cool. Yeah, that's all so, I have to say. No, Rupert, I, I think that's one of the reasons I like the art on that where that gray panel is right now because mm -hmm. it's it's. I'm not do a print on the big machine. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons I I have this view up is 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 it shows that the art is sort of interacts with the whole site. You can see it from further away. Anyone yeah. using the field or playground, yeah. uh, and and it's it's more of a building wide statement. Um, whereas art in the other locations where we had shown it perhaps at the kitchen wall, it's a, it's a very different um, experience. It's, it could yeah. be tactile, the kids could come up and play with it. Uh, and so, you know, part of the decision of where it should be might be what the artist itself and who the artist is, uh, someone right. who works in large scale uh, pieces, if they are commissioned, this might make more sense. So um, it, both are options, um, you know, looking at the building as an object this has a certain appeal to us as designers but um we're also creating a space for for kids to inhabit so it, it's just uh putting it out there for what you think is the most appropriate and then there there is this section of the media center wall where we need stacks and uh we've gone with this uh fenestration design to this point so it just sort of it, there's there's a natural home for something there so right just looking at what we could put there so here's here's my suggestion um, for, and I'm sure we, we have various people um, in our public. They can they'll be weighing in. But um, for Friday, 
uh, the when do we need to make this decision? What Donna was saying, because we're technically by our percent for our bylaw supposed to set up a group that has users of the building and community. Um, there's a process that we're supposed to go through, and that would be to pick the design, you know, uh, pick the artists. So it's not necessarily, um, we don't have to do that. But if we need to make a decision on where it goes by Donna, whether it's December, November, whatever the date is, um, then we're making a decision. It's external, it's up high, it's external, it's down low. And the artist would then be asked to do something. We haven't even pre-decided murals um, on the outside of the building, for example, as opposed to what I've seen in a couple of schools. When you come in on that internal wall, um, the, the commissioned art is there. So it's actually weatherproof inside. Um, so I, I just think trying to make a list of potential places um, and then telling us the drop dead date for making it, because particularly on the outside of the building, the material behind it would be would be different, um, would be really. Yeah, the, yeah, I think I think the interior murals, Kathy, um, you, you have more flexibility, right? I mean, what well, we can just put the backers on the walls and and make sure. But um and i think we would also want to identify those areas only so that we can um continue to to design the interior walls and what all that might look like but i think that's an easier decision um but we can give you a quote unquote drop dead date of at least where you would like the murals on the exterior and then we'll we we can just work around that but we can give you a date jonathan and, and, and rupert does that make sense to you yes I, I think it does um you know we you know we as the building committee have a charge to build the building um and to me it, it's okay for us to say okay we think art can go here um and, yep. and kind of pass that off to another body in town and say it's your charge to to fill this space. Otherwise, we're going to fill it with siding or something like that. Um, the other thing I, I think we shouldn't forget is that the exterior art, if there is exterior art, it could also be freestanding art. You know, it could be a sculptural piece not attached to the building. Um, and you know, so I, I I think we can we can feel comfortable as a committee, you know, proposing locations where wall-mounted art can be. Um, but if the if the other group decides they want to do freestanding pieces, that my guess is that 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 decision would not be as um, time sensitive as uh, as stuff attached to the building. Yeah, I I agree completely with that. Um, you know, I I know it's just way too expensive, but I love the uh, dinosaurs you can climb on in the park outside of the Natural History Museum in New York. <laughs> They're little kid dinosaur, you know, but it's it's they, they are extremely people are on them all the time, and it teaches you about. It. And we we have dinosaurs in Amherst. It's the only reason we have we were the land of a lot of dinosaur bones. So, so does do Jonathan and um, Rupert when we when this gets reported up on Friday, actually for the full committee. Um, do you have any reaction to the gray metal skin versus white, um, off-white, whatever that color is on the on this, yeah, this 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 these two designs? Yeah, I mean, I'm generally uh, liking the direction it's going. I'm liking the way they're breaking up the large planes. Um, I like the way these these. Um, roof forms that fold uh, kind of help define uh, the uh, more public sections of the building versus the classroom section of the building. Um, you know, I, you know, in some ways, what these materials are, I'm okay uh, deferring a little bit until we get to see and touch the materials again, um, because it is a little hard in the abstract to say, uh, you know, well, maybe that should be brick or maybe that, you know, because you, you want to kind of touch and feel it and understand what 
what that is. And as good as these renderings are, there, there's a certain limitation. You you also need to have products in hand and understand you know how, how light will shine differently on them um, and things like that. Um, and so you know while I look at that a library form and say, well, I don't know that I want that to be white light. What I do like is the way there's a contrast between the whiter material and the grayer material. Um, and what those two materials are, I can be fairly agnostic about at this stage. Great. Guess, uh, Rupert, if you have any thoughts, just weigh in. Yeah. Um, I, I guess uh, the in the in the picture that we're looking at right now, uh, the sort of textured feel of the um of the gray is kind of attractive uh it just adds a little something um in terms of the colors i'm not not really sure is that old so uh, yeah Kathy, go ahead sorry i was just going to say tim if i don't know whether you have some other pictures because i think that's a we can't go much further there are three of us here um yes. and no. you yeah yeah, there are just a couple more options, different um, configurations of the plane that defines the music room. The last one had it around the entire volume, uh, sort of defining the volume. This um, just sort of accents the glass, uh, the uh, windows facing north, um, and creates a smaller overhang uh, uh, that supported by the volume. Uh, there'd be less shadow on the building, but um, it, it's it's just a different version of a, a similar design idea. It's still broken up between two major colors. There's still a folded plane uh, that accents, but uh, it doesn't encompass the whole volume. And the canopy or roof edge, whatever you want to call it, it's not really canopy because you're not walking up to it. It's not protecting you, but it it doesn't, you know, come close to the main canopy of the building. So uh, whether if you like them interweaving or being separate is, is just something that we want to put out there for conversation. So it's just a different approach. Uh, and here it is in the context of the building once again. But uh, in all of these, uh, you know, we're rendering it as the single skin metal panel and masonry, but that's not to say that the masonry or a similar color or lighter than the field could not replace the metal panel in this. Uh, it's a little bit further from the window below. So the detailing of the relieving angle would actually even be a little bit simpler here, but uh, they're all in terms of complexity and cost uh, in the same family. Uh, I have a, a quick reaction. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm fascinated and intrigued by the reversing of uh, which plane has the color between the front canopy and that music room overhang. I think that's really cool. Um, and it also strikes me that uh, if you have the bright color on the, I don't know what you call it, the soffit edge, the, mm -hmm. the vertical edge, the vertical surface has a cue that it's an entrance that might be interesting uh, to explore throughout the building. Yeah. Uh, that uh, go ahead, Kathy. Sorry. No, go on. I, I was just so yeah. As we get more into details, that's going to be a, a big part of the design. How you can turn corners with colors, and it's it 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 can be very effective. It can also be tricky. Uh, so uh, that's you know that's sort of a touch and feel conversation. So when we get into holding materials, we can talk about how these. Uh, materials turn corners what you have to do to turn the corner with certain metal panels or break metal if we use it what you have to do to turn the corner with a masonry product uh, obviously the soffit's not going to be masonry so you know where 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 we make all those changes and where we have the freedom and where we want to change colors is going to be a big part of the discussion when we get into details but if 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 that Cites the group, and if that's something that we think is a design language that we want to use, we just want to make sure that we know that. So we can either go that direction or not. Uh, Tim, can you go back to the previous option just so we can kind of look at compare and contrast again? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, I'm intrigued by option B. There's something about option A with the overhang at, kind of at the roof line that I think works better when you're out back, you know, stepped back a little bit. Um, there was something that 
it was looked a little muddy when you have just the overhang at the window when it when you're back further from the building. Um, but they're both interesting to me. And I'll, I don't like the the next one, Tim, but I'm trying to figure out why I don't like it. And I think <laughs> I think I don't like the amount at which this single thing just juts out. Um, and and it clearly doesn't have to come out that far the way you've drawn it. But mm -hmm. I'm also, this is north side of the building, north and the west. West, yes. The signage and, is on the west side. And so I, the, mu the music room needs light. It doesn't need glare. And it feels to me like the higher up overhang would, would less interfere with light coming in um, in the way it's set up. So there's a couple of things about this that I don't like. Um, and you're, you're, and, and cost-wise, it feels like we're spending money for an overhang that's not really doing anything. The the jutting out one, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that the, it's got a it's it's got its own lack of support system. So it's just a, um, a I know you say these are kind of equivalent costs, but as we saw in VE, when you eliminated some materials, suddenly there was a savings. Um, mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to do something that was just a design element that didn't have a function that much, and I we got Bruce made a comment last time that they on the south side they did have all sorts of functions in terms of rainwater not dripping in so I'm so so I'm leaning toward a more just because of the way this uh it certainly interrupts the plane <laughs> but and then can I just want to ask one other question with the single sheet single skin metal say it right Kathy where the gray comes either on this one or the other one, you've got gray coming all the way down and you said it shouldn't come down to the ground. Um, so uh, um, so uh, I did say that. I did say close to entrances where you could um, potentially come up with a cart or a plow. I mean, it is a durable oh. material um, behind a planting bed, or even if kids were go up, it would be fine. Um, also, it would not actually touch the ground, uh, just like a lot of our masonry. There's either a base of uh, concrete or granite, depending on how it's detailed, just so it's not ground contact. Um, but uh, yes, it, it it is durable enough to be at that level. But we Tim, would... go ahead. Yeah, did, I, I just just to go back to Kathy's comment that the um, overhang over the art room or music room doesn't really provide any functional um, benefit. This is the west side, right? So. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't, does it help at all? I'm, I'm looking at the shadows, right? You're seeing the uh, um, sun coming through. It, it would, it would, it would have a very small benefit. Um, okay. So if you really want to get into how the sun is working with the classroom, so this is facing west most of the time, the sun will be coming, when it's coming from the west at all, it will be coming from the southwest. So it will be going in that window, but it won't be angled into the classroom proper, it will be against the wall. So the teaching wall as currently uh, drawn is behind this sign. So light will be coming in, hitting this wall and bouncing into the room. So Bounced light is actually great. Direct light is is um, not great for glare learning and visual right. comfort. So, so just to go back to Kathy's comment, just to confirm that. And then the other thing too is because it is the West, it's going to be late afternoon or I guess in the middle of the winter will be a little bit earlier, but um, so there really is no beneficial uh, purpose of this overhang, right? uh that it's negligible and it is a design yeah. idea uh we're yeah putting it out there to see and then obviously it doesn't need to be as big as it is but if if the look of it captured the imagination we could certainly um reduce it and, and work with the idea but it doesn't sound like that's happening anyway so well no but but kathy's maybe the odd voice out jonathan <laughs> <laughs> well i i'm i'm 
you know, I, I generally favor option A, mm -hmm. um, just from a from a form perspective. I, I just kind of like the that overhang at a higher level. Um, but I put my hand up really for a, a, another reason, which was um, just to ask Kathy <laughs> if you know, are, are we is the school uh, and the town going to going to call the building the Fort River Elementary School? Um, yeah. And if but, not, should we be using a different so, name here? But, so I don't, the answer is, I don't know. We, we okay. definitely we definitely talked about a naming exercise and the school committee liked that idea. Um, there, there have been a few comments that it gets you into all sorts of stuff in town when you try to pick a name. Yeah. Um, so, um, so you're going with the name of the school has to go somewhere. So right now we've got the name being, you know, the, the name has to go somewhere, but yeah. Okay. I just wasn't sure if the other things were happening in the background that, that I wasn't aware of. No, I, you know, and I, and I don't know, do, I, I think we should bring it up. The school committee has now gotten over some of the humps it's been facing <laughs> yeah. and and we can ask them whether there is a decision to do that, um, whether they want to explore it, and how we would go about doing it. Because uh, you know, we. we yeah, I, I don't uh, want to in our purview. We have enough to do. <laughs> no, no. It's just you know. I hopefully we don't have to make the decision. It should be a townwide decision whether they just want to keep it for simplicity. Um, yeah. Uh, Tim, is there any way that we could see the two options side by side? It, maybe what you can do is go to the toolbar um, um, on the left and then it's just, yeah, so maybe just going, yeah, and then see if you can make that really, really big or something and just bring it all the way over. Oh, you lost it. Just, just so it's so sometimes hard to see. Yeah. Just keep going, just stretch it all the way and make that really big. Can you stretch it over more? He has to, yeah. he has to really end Yeah, keep going. It's just sometimes easier when, when you're trying to see the two or maybe, yeah, if you just scroll up one or something, there you go. Whoop, yeah, something like that, just so it gives you a little better visual. And uh, there is a third option. Uh, okay. <laughs> but now that's even bigger overhang. Hmm. Your C, C, is, C has got more brick. Is that what I'm seeing? The, the gray is not coming down. Oh, no. Yeah, that one that one was mislabeled. Apologies for that. C has more brick. It's a constant. Um, there's a little return here on the brick. All of the glass is facing north, uh, but the folded plane of the canopy element is a little simpler. So here's a closer view. I, I I like this one. <laughs> I, 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 I like this yeah. one too, Jonathan. Maybe it's I'm into boring brick, but I I like <laughs> I less I like less of that single metal gray that big sheet coming down. Um, yeah. Although I, I like this one too. So so this has uh, the, the plane that the sign is on uh, the masonry plane yeah. sort of portrays a little bit north of the corner. So there'll be literally no glare in in, in the music room. Um, it is a little bit simpler. Um, it, it, it's I'm at a loss for words other than simpler, but that was that was the idea. It, it, to get the music room not to compete with some of the other, um, you know, big moves that we're making. Uh, yeah, I think that's why I like it is that it's so, not competing. Tim, did you just block glass then? Did you block the west side glass altogether? It was moved to the north side. Same amount of glass, just sort of moved around the corner. So that also might be beneficial so that kids aren't, um, well, either way, they're gonna be looking at the playground, but you know, they're not looking at everyone arriving or the traffic on the main, they're, yeah. they're right. And there's 
there, there's more glass that comes to the floor in this room alone to get you a uh, side by side. So this is option C. And then here was option A. I think we should keep A and C for people to look at is what I would do. Okay. If people, it, you know, because I'd like, and, and you know, I want to get some reaction from a couple of people in our public side, but I'm not sure I would want to, I, I want to hear whether having more glass on the north side and giving up the west side is a plus, um, or whether getting light from two directions is helpful. And then my the you give the music room more wall on the west side when you move that brick out. You know, just on mm -hmm. I I need to you know what happens to the inside of the music room is my my other question. You know how that interacts. So uh, going first for function and second for design style. I just I would just like to know how the room sets up. You know, does it help mm -hmm. you in the music room to have one big glass wall? rather than two-sided glass with the high glass here. So you're still getting that whole stretch of glass bringing light in on the north side. It's just not coming down to the ground. Yeah, this Kathy, another another thought would be just, um, yes, I, a full wall um, is can be helpful for instructional purposes, right? Um, like you were saying. So I, I think that would be a huge benefit. My, my only other comment, Tim, is um, maybe there's a strike, a balance here because having glass at the uh, north or the whatever that is, east end up high also brings more light into more more of the classroom. Mm -hmm. So so maybe there's a little bit of a balance. It's a large room. It's about 1,200 square feet. So um, getting some higher light um, similar to what it's doing on on option a using the clear story so to speak would help bringing light further into the back of the classroom and i'm so sure did. my daylighting experts would have something to say about that but he's got the same he's got the same plane here donna it's just the whole wall is glass um and he doesn't he, have he doesn't have the west yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's that was just my comments between A and C. Um, yeah. Thanks. So, but but to repeat the comments that I'm hearing back to you, just um, I, I I think larger moves at the scale of the entire music room and simpler. So the smaller canopy jutting out in option B wasn't uh, well received, but the the roof planes that sort of encompass the whole music room. Uh, larger pieces of glass that simplify the layout in the middle um, and control the glare are, are the direction. And then A and C both had some, you know, positive elements and B was, let's call it mediocre. Um, uh, so th those are uh, very helpful comments that we can continue to work with as we develop the design and report to the larger committee on Friday. Um, if I can jump in, um, sure. I, I agree with Kathy. I think A and C should go forward. Um, there's, um, I, I do th think the simpler lines in C uh, are really nice. Um, I have some hesitancy about uh, uh, glass going all the way down to the floor or very close to the floor, just in terms of cleaning uh, and uh, and custodial services. So, um, you know, if the area of glass, you know, stopped a foot or two above the floor, um, I think that's beneficial on a custodial side. It just would mean you had a wider surface instead of a taller surface. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Go ahead, Kathy. Sorry, Tim. Tim, I'm just wondering what else you're going to show us because I also, um, a couple people in the public may have comments on this, and I can bring them in. But just give me a sense of where we're going. Um, um I have 
six more slides that revisit the north, or excuse me, the west elevation where we were talking about um, potentially bringing the color. So maybe 10 more minutes of, of, okay. of discussion. Great. Yep, fine. Uh, so, so this is what we saw last week, and then we introduced the idea of uh, bringing the color of the canopy to the roof edge and bringing it down to the ground at the north end in some way, uh, just to sort of amplify the effect of that, uh, which we think we like. Uh, there are some things about this that uh, you know remain to be resolved, the detailing of how we will bring those planes to the ground, what the material will be, what the fenestration for the uh, conference room that is in the corner is, and the visibility. Um, I, I don't think we have it all completely resolved, but we just want to get some more reaction as we move through some options. Um, here, uh, unfortunately, we chose to model it with option B, which was the least favorite of the music room, but uh, <laughs> <this> is, <laughs> we're bringing uh, the roof edge down and we do uh just the typical window uh that we have used on the rest of the administration suite uh with the colorful panel um and i will admit that it does not fill this volume quite the same way uh but we wanted to get your reaction and then another thing that we wanted to get your reaction to was um the masonry and material colors of the administration as it is now, um, the administration main office suite was sort of one volume defined with uh, the darker brick color, as was the music room. And then you could differentiate that from the gin volume because it was a lighter masonry. So wherever you had a large programmatic element, you'd have a color change. It was a very simple prismatic. Um, you know, the, the more the more times we slice it up, though, the more opportunities there are and, and maybe suggestions of color change. So we just want to make sure that we're keeping the diagram clean. Um, here, we're looking at the music room as the darker color and all of the administration as a lighter color. Uh, but then as you turn the corner, this still shows, excuse me, the masonry as a dark color so that you have that contrast with the gym, uh, but maybe the roof edge uh, provides enough separation. And then there's also the question of, we have to figure out how to turn the roof edge down. Uh, I think we've started to look at it um, and we've, you know, but it, it's still unresolved. It's a little chunky, um, but we want to get your thoughts on how you want the program elements to read, whether they're solid elements where you have any reaction to changing the color or just say you don't have any yet and we'll keep studying it and bring back more options for you to consider. You want to dive in with comments? Yeah, I just dive dived in. in. Okay. Um, I actually like the masonry kind of in that, that inset more than two tones, but I think for me, the biggest un, the piece of unresolved um, elements here is really how you're returning that, that plane that, you know, in this view, the return that goes back towards the gym just feels very clunky, um, chunky, mm -hmm. uh, part, you know, in, in my eye, I would almost want the whole orange plane to extend back to the gym and the other windows are kind of punched through that, or at least that I'd be curious as to what that would look like. Um, maybe that would just be way too much, but there's something about that um, that that feels still unresolved visually. Uh, agreed. We have uh, looked at bringing that whole plane down and we were reluctant to present it because it felt a bit too much, but uh, you are certainly going to see it now, so. Thank so, you for that comment. So, so Tim, um, boy, I can move my arrow across your screen, but I can't show you <laughs> moving it. Um, the I, I agree with Jonathan. I like this dark, I like the masonry here, not that 
I think I don't like the the single. <laughs> the single. So I, you know, I'm having a reaction. I'm liking the brick better, whether it's this color brick or a lighter color brick. And I like the white brick. So I have um, on the orange that comes down uh, the big slant above the entranceway slant and that big orange over to the gym and the big return. If it were just a thin line, like the, the roof going over instead of that great big orange stripe. Mm -hmm. and, and then do we need the, the, the vertical one, which right now is not vertical, it's slanted. So I, I just, it, you said, use the word clunky. It looks to me like we just slapped it on the building and what it would look like with just a, the thinner, the thinner one connected over and then brick. So that's comment number one. And then on the windows, um, um, I'm assuming at least some of the windows open. And I don't know whether it's the up and down, the double-sided windows, but um, I, I wouldn't want to, uh, uh, my, my home where I'm sitting faces west. And in the morning, I often have to turn the lights on. In the afternoon, I'm fine. So I just wouldn't want to cut down. So I'm just wondering, is the overhang too much over those two windows in the administration where the other one, the one that's got under in the brick has got plenty of light coming in. Um, I don't have an overhang. I just, well, I, yeah, I don't have an overhang. So, I, so those are just my comments on it. It seems like you've added something that um, for me, it's not really appealing and then my question about the windows but i like i like the brick better as john jonathan did yeah can i ask a, a clarifying question here sure the, the three windows that are facing west are mm -hmm. they all in the same plane or is the dark brick uh set further to the east uh the dark brick the window set in the dark brick is a few feet further to the east there is a return there Thank you. That helps me understand what I'm looking at. Just to um, there. Oh yeah, yeah. it steps, steps back just a tiny bit. Yep. And and this window uh, in the uh, conference room here is uh, going to be subject of much design as we resolve that corner. Yep. Yeah, I think I, you know, I, I agree with Kathy that it, it, I think it wants, so in the, in image 23 or page 23 there, that, that, that looks very nice straight on. Um, mm -hmm. But when you turn the corner, I think Kathy's right. I think it either wants to be a, 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 you know, an orange overhang that's thin and crisp that, that returns back to the gym, or <laughs> even though, you know, it, we might all think it's too much. Um, or if we're going to bring that plane down, I think it has to extend to the gym somehow. Um, uh, yeah, that, sorry, I'm trying to, uh, you know, like illustrate a little of, of, we go through a lot of options and yeah. we'll put them all. <laughs> I'm sure um, you do. <laughs> um, so here is bringing it halfway to the gym and and yeah. uh you know you're you're getting to the point where that becomes the dominant move of the building uh and it's a question of if that's appropriate or not and if right. everyone likes it then yes uh i i and i don't know. want you to show us something that you don't like mm -hmm. um to be honest uh and so you know if because this feels unresolved to me. If if you feel that that bringing it all the way to the gym with punched openings for the window is just too much, it just dilutes things. Mm -hmm. Don't show it to us and just say, "Yeah, we don't think it works." You know, because we 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 want you to to. I don't want to inhibit your ability to edit this design um, and 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 keep the focus uh, where where you want it to be. Yes, uh, we are. We are going to bring this back to the to the drawing board and 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 bring a refined version the next time we meet. Um, we, we yeah, as you said, uh, we definitely think there's something there. 
uh, that uh, sort of reinforces the main gesture of the main entrance and west facade. It's just a matter of tying it into the rest of the language of the building and and not diluting and and not you know changing gears, changing language. Yep. Can Can I ask a question about the uh, the south side of that office suite again? Um, sure. I'm I'm wondering uh, with that uh, the angled wall there and it looks like an overhang. Uh, is that functionally Shielding the windows from solar gain, does it have a, a valuable energy purpose on that south side of the office suite? On the south side? Uh, it, 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 it depends on how high and how deep as we, as we continue to design. But um, in terms of shading of the windows, it, it, it will be a small amount. Um, that's why uh, all of your classroom windows that are facing north we have the integrated sunshades and uh, we'll probably those are a much more effective means than a roof edge so any punched window that we have facing south we'll probably look at doing that thank you okay tim i think we're good we are um, good thank you so is that and so um, we're any further comments, but also if people are OK, I'm going to see whether um, our attendees have any comments and want to be brought into the room. So uh, one hand is up. If, is that OK with everyone that I bring it's people good in? For me. OK. So Bruce, I have allowed you to talk if you unmute. I think I already, yeah, I think you automatically unmuted me. Is that correct? You can hear me I, now? I, seem, hear I, seem to, I seem to have had full control, yes. Oh, wow, well, so the moment you uh, unmuted me, the uh, phone started ringing here. So we'll see how <laughs> that works. Um, uh, again, I, I really applaud the, uh, the, the deliberation here, both on the part of the architects bringing forward these options, which are just complicated enough to uh, extend the conversation, but not so much to bamboozle everybody, which is a real, uh, that's a nice thing to be able to get that balance, I think. So I, I applaud the Denisco from that point of view. I can applaud you from a number of other points of view as well, but that one is the moment. And uh, and I think that you, you as the, the three of you as a committee have hit a lot of what I would have said. So I'm really just going to um, uh, uh, add some weight to some. Uh, I think the uh, as far as the uh, music room uh, series is concerned, I think the uh, the A and C, I said, certainly agree that uh, those are the ones to bring forward. I think the uh, um, what I like about the A and I think should be uh, uh, pursued uh, is the uh, is the the great amount of higher level glass, as Donna was saying. I think there's a real benefit to that. I can see Rupert brings forward the idea of uh, the value of glass. I usually look at glass at floor level or close to floor level and think it's not working hard enough. I know in certain uh, uh, modernist uh, 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 ways, the, uh, the the seamless integration of exterior and interior space, it wants the windows to go down. And if we were Mies van der Rohe or his progeny, we would probably be celebrating that opportunity. But but uh, I don't think so here. So I'm with Rupert. I think that the the glass at uh, below one foot is probably not working hard enough for us. And uh, and it's and, and and uh, so I would uh, put that glass higher up. Um, so I like. Uh, uh, I also think that the. Uh, as I think I said last week that the the overhang the over the 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 projection of the roof or the, any projection. Uh, if we're going to have it, we should, we should uh, recognize that it does benefit the wall. So having it uh, at the roof plane edge rather than uh, halfway down, as I think maybe that maybe that was option B. Um, so I, I, I think uh, working uh, projecting at the roof level to protect the greater portion of the wall is we, we get a benefit from that that we should recognize. So all of that uh, is probably just saying that I agree with uh, uh, pretty much everything that was said. And I think the, the commentary was uh, quite constructive, quite uh, positive and quite useful. Um, as far as the uh, 
the uh, Western, uh, the, the South Side uh, um, treatment, um, I really have a strong visceral uh, reaction to that. I really don't think that that idea has got enough merit to worth uh, be worth pursuing. I, I'm thinking of the amount of time and energy and skill that this design team has got. And I think that there's not really enough of a there there to warrant pursuing this uh, projection and sloping of the wall. I think that the the roof, uh, as far as any, any solar protection is concerned, is the, the just projecting the roof plane and, and not uh, turning it down as a wall is going to get you most of what you want from a solar sh shading standpoint. I think the, uh, the 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 projection of the, uh, the sloping the wall and 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 turning the roof down is is a too clunky and b too much of a distraction to the move that has already been made to uh, define the entry. Um, and I think it's uh, it's it's uh, it's working against uh, a clear and and positive and crisp definition of the entry plane. So I don't like that uh, that design uh, idea. And I personally don't think it's worth any further exploration, given that you could put to, you could be using your time better elsewhere. As far as Rupert, I think it was a question or concern or someone's concern about whether the the entry canopy uh, projecting over the two of the three windows in the admin area would shade them. Uh, oh, that was Kathy's concern, right? Because I've been in your house, uh, haven't I? So I know what you're talking about. Um, it might be possible. Uh, to uh, ameliorate that a little by putting uh, punched openings in that orange plane, which you, from an architectural point of view, um, from, from a design point of view, you wouldn't see it so much from, uh, you wouldn't see it at all probably as you came up to it, but but you could let light through that plane into those windows uh, to uh, a much greater degree. And that uh, is an idea that occurred to me when Kathy said that. Um, that's it from me. I uh, enjoy listening to your conversations, and I think you all are doing very well. Thank you on behalf of the community. <laughs> so, t Tim, with with that feedback, the whatever we call that orange stripe that comes down to the ground, could you do one for Friday that just has the thin one over, you know, so we could s just see what that looks like? You know, without the um, turning the corner and bring, I, I don't even know how to describe it. So, yes. He, he, so, yes. Okay. I, 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 you know, the, the, we've heard the feedback of what works and what doesn't work about that idea. So we can try to distill out uh, what we want to keep in and, and get rid of the clunkings. Yeah, so, I, I would agree. I, I, the more I think about it, the more I think it works. It's an idea that works really well in elevation, but doesn't doesn't quite work <laughs> or it doesn't work in 3D. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just, if I don't see any other hands up. Um, so I think we're good. And my suggestion would be, um, we'll put this entire slide deck in the subcommittee. Uh, we might've done it already of all these pictures, but for Friday, get down to the options that we like liked better. Um, and um, I'm, at least I heard on what I'll call option A music room, which was brick and was slightly more preferred than C, but, but keeping C in the mix because there was some interest in it um, mm -hmm. is the way it would go. So fewer, fewer choices will be better <laughs> to get to, to to make the discussion get to where you need to say, yeah, we, most of us or many of us or whatever like these. So I, I think that's it, unless I hear any other comments. The, just before I started the record button, I was asking Donesco and Rupert, I think you joined us just a little bit later, uh, you know, when I hit record to on Friday, give us a sense of, uh, the July and August, July, August, September, but just elite July and August that uh, key, key times or people that you need to meet with, you know, some of it might be staff meetings, um, and that we're talking about uh, Donisco coming to Amherst in 
it's likely going to be what is the second week in July since the first week of July is July 4th week. Um, trying to pick a date that works for a lot of people to bring these materials, you know, the materials we've just been looking at, the uh, the single skin metal, uh, <laughs> the, the, the brick of choice, and then you've got some of this off-white brick, you know, and I would just bring enough of it so we, we would get a real visceral sense of what this looks like. Um, and I guess the only other thing on coming here, um, I went out to look at cars of which you can't buy them without pre-buying them anymore. You can't get in them on the ones I was looking for, but they said, don't look at the colors in the book because until you see the car, you won't really see the color. So the orange, a few of the highlight colors, Tim, if you can just bring color board so we can see as near to, what does that orange look like? What is mm -hmm. that? What does that aqua look like? That would be my, you know, to me, they look fine. So just getting more of a sense. And we'll make sure that 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 we get a big enough room that if we get a fair number of public, including some teachers and others who want to come to look and see and touch, um, we will we'll have space for it. Um, so Kathy, that, do, yeah. yeah, Kathy, just 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 to finish the conversation about our on site, which isn't the subcommittee, but we would also I uh, do some of the site, have some of the yeah. site oh, yeah. conversations. Yeah, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. So, so that it's it's a it's a two two part meeting. Part. Um, you know, one would be focused on the building and building materials. The second would be focused on the site, and particularly, we'll say this again at the Friday, but on the site side, I think it will be really helpful um, to at least. A, a chunk of that be walking around the Fort, current Fort River site. So one, yeah. you know, so I just have, I'll have to talk with uh, Tammy and others on what kind of meeting space do we have? Is there something at Fort River since the school won't be in session where- Yeah, there's, there's definitely some spaces, I'm sure. You know, in the yeah. cafeteria or someplace that we can meet there and then go outside and with a break between the two. Um, Donna, Perfect, yeah. There's also, there's been a request and, I, you know, I'll just say this so people can hear it, that, you know, we've got Kendrick Park, Groff Park, um, the Crocker Jessica's. Farm. Jessica's, yeah. And, and, you know, so that some of it might be design team just seeing some of the things that the Amherst community already knows, uh, um, so that we know, you know, what, what it is we're seeing. Um, a lot of input went into the parks in Amherst um, from the broad community, as well as families with kids, you know, just on a, in even colors. Um, so there was a fair amount. So, so just we'll pick a day that it'll be a full day, um, but, but broken up into di for different purposes. Um, Perfect. So I, I'm not seeing any other uh, pieces. Thank you, Rupert, for, for joining us. Um, <laughs> you were essential in so many ways and are um and and i have to tell you whether i i don't know yeah anyway it, it's great to have you with us and i am going to say that the subcommittee is adjourned at 10 11 and we will post this set um i saw you had 56 slides tim you can figure out whether you want to put the whole set in the meeting or not but um anything you want to send me we will I, post yeah, I will send it to you right now. And uh, it, there are a few more slides that I will send it to you right now. Okay. Thank you all. See you on Friday. Bye. Bye. We are adjourned.